Hi and welcome to another video. Today we're just going to talk about a soft shutdown switch for the Raspberry Pi which I'm going to be using in a 3D enclosure to uh, help control a 3D printer but it applies to any Raspberry Pi that you've got. Um, in my previous video I attached a LED to the Pi some people thought this was just connected to a, a live 5 volt so whenever there's a power lead going to the Pi the light would come on. That isn't simply the case, it's not connected. When this light goes off to show the Pi is off the 5 volt and 3 volt uh, GPIO pins are still live. The whole thing is not closed down, it's just in standby. So this shows when the uh, computer is up and running or in sleep mode. So I've got a switch here, just a simple push switch and when I push it the LED should go out so the Pi is in standby. And there we go. It takes a few seconds to close down and shortly I will show you that with uh, it attached to a screen. But let me turn some of the lights off and you should still see there is power going to the board. You can see there the LED that is on the Pi. So the Pi is actually in sleep mode but the board is live and if you've got fans or anything attached to the permanent 5 volt rails those will still be running but the USB sockets will shut down. So if you've got any devices attached to the USBs those will close down. Equally, when I press the power button again, it will start to boot up. And there we go, it's booting up. And you can see the activity light there on the board flashing away as it's booting up. So I hope that's helpful. So now we're just going to go through the step by step process. And I want to add I haven't come up with this. This is from a channel called How To. I will leave a link in the description below and it's very important that you look at that link because most of the detail I will refer to their video. Uh, what do we need to make this? Well we need an SPST switch, just uh, two contacts there, just uh, a push switch. It just makes contact across these connectors when it's pushed and it's just a momentary switch so those are very very cheap indeed uh, and we need some wire ones that have got the ends that are compatible with the GPIO pins normally they come in a, a ribbon form and you just tear them off off the strip uh, in this case we only need one wire and we're just going to cut it right in the middle there which is what I've done with this one here this was a green wire and I've just simply chopped it and strip the wire off and connect or solder each end to each pin there and before you do the soldering put some heat shrink on that will slide down when Push the heat shrink over the wire and the connector and heat it up with soldering iron to make it shrink. Once you've done that you'll pop the cable over pins 5 and 6. Hopefully you can see, let's see if we can get a close up for you. and they are the third pin in on the top and the bottom. So that's pins five and six. It doesn't matter which way around they go. And that, that's the wire and complete. The next step is downloading a script because it's a script that activates the shutdown. 
Now I'm going to include in a moment the uh, script from HowTo and then the link to the video so you can have a good look at that. So the Pi is back in the enclosure that I had it in, so you could just be using a normal Pi case, or in this case it's a, a printer case. So here is the switch that we've fitted, and as you can see there, the push button switch. And the LED, let me slide this around, the LED is actually here and I've got a couple of fans as well I don't know whether you can see those very well but there is a, a fan running here and also one in the far end so at the moment the fans are actually running but the Pi is in standby so let's try turning one of these lights out, see if you can see things a bit better. So I'm just going to start the Pi by pressing the push button. LED is starting and the Pi is booting up. and it's booted into the application. So the light is still on, the fans are still running. Okay, so if I now, I want to put this in standby because I don't want to use it for a while. Press the power button, it's running the script. Let's see if you can see this better with the light off, perhaps. Yep. And the power button's gone out, the screen's gone off. Okay. However, the fans are still running. And hopefully, let's turn the lights off again you can see that the board is still live because there is power still on the board. The little LED is still on. Uh, both fans are on. And remember, as I said, if you are using the USB sockets, those will have been turned off. So it's quite handy if you've got devices connected. Okay, so there we have the soft shutdown, wake up, and with the power LED. And remember the power LED fitting was in one of my previous videos and there'll be a link to that. And there is a link on uh, the entire process from How To, uh, which I encourage you to watch. Hopefully this is uh, helpful if you haven't seen this before. Uh, certainly for 3D printing world, I think this is really good because we use a, a lot of Raspberry Pis uh, with Octoprint. Uh, but if you're just using a Pi in general with a case, then this could be uh, a useful addition. So if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. If you're a 3D printer and want to see me fitting this to the um, Prusa box, which I will be doing soon because I have this edition here if I can zoom out a little bit uh, so we have a little bit extra there for the Prusa so that will be coming in a few days time so please subscribe if you want to see that thank you very much